much, Tatiana. Well, several upstate school districts head back to school this week, and we have our back to school team coverage again. 7 News is Jennifer Martin is in Roebuck at Dorman High. We'll talk to her in just a few minutes, but first let's check in with 7 News is Christine Scarpelli. She's live in Due West at Dixie High School. Second day of classes there. Good morning. Yeah, guys. Good morning. There is a lot of energy here. It is day two for Dixie High School. The Hornets are back. They're ready to go. Though they're doing five days in person, also a virtual option. About 100 kids taking advantage of that, but everybody else right here in person. We have had so many enthusiastic guests this morning, from the principal to assistant principal. We've talked to the athletic director. Now we've got Coach Gamble, who is a ball of fun. He is so energetic this morning. We're so glad to have you, sir. Thank you so Thank much for being here. And then tell me, um, first off, I want to know, because you are a very decorated coach. You've done a great job in both cross country and soccer, it sounds like. And these were recent wins? Correct, correct. Right? Tell yes. me about it. Um, last year, you're looking at some of the team that uh, won the uh, boys 1A state championship. State championship. State championship in cross country. Um, we didn't necessarily go in expecting to win it, but we had some excellent performances. Um, and, you know, we we're fortunate enough to come out with our second state uh, championship cross country over the last three years. Wow, very good. How about practice? I know um, even meets, things are going to look just a little bit different this year? Correct, correct. Our uh, home race coordinator and our girls coach met last Friday and uh, to go over some new guidelines that we'll have to have in place for our two home meets that we host. We host them uh, right outside of town there in, in Donald's and uh, there were several guidelines and just had to do some tweaking. Not a total uh, overhaul, but there was definitely some things they changed. Yeah, I bet. Oh my goodness. A lot of things to take into consideration. But the neat thing about cross country is it sounds like your, your guys are pretty disciplined, right? They can do some of this on their own. Correct. Uh, official uh, practice uh, starts cross country next Monday, the 24th, I believe. But, uh, you know, basically uh, a lot of these kids have been having to run on their own since mid-March of last year to do what they're supposed to, to come in this season, you know, ready for, you know, to have the best times, et cetera. And so these kids have been, you know, very dedicated since then, meeting on their own and, and running on their own. And, and that's what it takes, commitment and dedication. And that's something, you know, uh, these kids were able to do since middle of last March. That is a great and team. Hopefully see some results, you know, here in a couple of weeks when we can start the official cross country season and, and get into some meets. I can't wait. We're going to keep up with you for sure. I want to also give you a real quick and introduce an opportunity to introduce who we have here. Who do you okay. have behind you? Uh, we have senior Alessio. Nice. Junior Bradley, sophomore Vance, and junior uh, Spencer. Very good, Coach. Hey, listen, we appreciate it. I had to give him a quick shout out right here. We talked to the FFA just a second ago. Mackenzie handed me this T-shirt, guys. I believe this now means I am a member of Dixie High. So we're gonna we're gonna hang out here today. You guys have fun. We're actually gonna hang out for the day two of school. They don't know that yet, but we're just gonna stay because we feel like family. <laughs> we'll send it back to you. If you're an official student, you better make sure you didn't miss any pop yeah. quizzes while we were doing this live shot with us. Thank I know, you, right? Christine. We gotta go there. <laughs> Sabila. Steen is going back to high school. How cool is that? <laughs> well, Spartanburg District 6 leaders made adjustments as well to keep their students safe during the pandemic. Let's check in now with uh, Jennifer Martin. She is live at Dorman High School to see what they're doing there. Good morning, Jennifer.